16.1 is done in the books, barely, but we're here, we survived, and that's what we're talking about today. Uh, how I survived it, how I felt about it, what I thought I could have done differently, and uh, maybe some, some things to think about as we head into 16.2. Stay tuned. All right, so 16.1 in the books, RX. 95 pounds, overhead lunges, burpees, chest to bars, all that good stuff. Uh, when all was said and done, 20 minutes later, whopping 20 minutes later, which felt like an eternity, uh, 120 reps recorded. So uh, I don't know where that stacks up. Uh, we'll see, you know, how, how well that, that is. It's, you know, for, for being a year in, you know, I'm happy with that score. For me, you know, it's about personal growth development, you know, this is a complete benchmark. I didn't record any of my times from last year. Uh, you know, I, I did the open at our box, but you know, it was brand new to CrossFit. I had no idea what the games were, no idea what any of this stuff really was. Still learning the movements, still trying to understand everything. And, and even a year later, I'm still learning every day. So 16.1 is a brand new experience. It felt really good. You know, I thought a lot about how I was going to approach it. Uh, read a lot, watched a lot of videos between Thursday's announcement and then Friday. Uh, I did the workout at about 6 p.m. on Friday, so last night. And, you know, it was really, pretty much all I thought about was how I was going to tackle it. And uh, ultimately, I went with, you know, narrow grip. You know, I thought about, now that I think about it, you know, I was like, well, maybe I could have been a little more stable if I went with a wide grip on the overhead lunges. But, you know, I just don't know that I have the strength in my shoulders yet to kind of support that load. Um, I was looking at Noah Olson. I guess he's like, his, last I checked, he was at the top of the leaderboards with 300 and some odd reps. And then I saw a picture of him on Instagram doing carrying his overhead lunge, and he was his uh, his wrists were like flush up against the the bumper plates. And I'm like, damn, that's that's a wide load. So you know, maybe there, maybe there's something to that, but I just don't think personally I have the strength in my shoulders to be able to do that unbroken. As is, I went with a narrow grip straight ahead. And I felt solid, a little unstable through like my core, uh, but ultimately managed to get them done unbroken. Um, it just took, took me a little while longer to do that. And I took a lot of rests and a lot of breaks, which I think also brought my total rep count down. Uh, burpees, I didn't think were too bad, but definitely burn a lot of fuel. A lot of, you know, they sort of just weigh on you a little bit, especially as the, as the rounds go. Uh, they just start dragging on you and, and just sort of just take the wind out of your sails. Um, and then chest to bar, I think I said uh, yesterday that I don't, I can't, I can't butterfly yet. I haven't learned to butterfly. So in terms of speed, I'm still kipping. So I'm kipping all my butterfly, uh, kipping, ki yeah, kipping butterflies. I'm not kipping butterflies. I am kipping my chest to bars. Uh, and at times I thought, you know, hell, uh, maybe I can do a muscle up in this, uh, in this, in these games coming up, um, if some muscle ups get in there, because I've done like two of them total to date. So, uh, back to the 16.1. Um, yeah, so chest to bar is not too bad. Uh, it was the lunges that kind of was where I spent a lot of time thinking, um, and a lot of time just wondering how I was going to get knock those out. But we're done. 16.1s in the books. It's recorded, um, and I just want to know what you guys thought of the wad, uh, the workout. You know, how did you approach it? How did you do? Uh, does it matter? Do you have any tips, tricks now that you've actually put, done it? Uh, is there anything that you know you would do differently? Are you going to redo it? Um, anything like that? I don't plan to redo this. You know, like I said, it's just kind of for me to measure moving forward how far I've come. So just progress benchmark for me. But for anybody else, you know. How did you approach it? What did you, what did you think worked really well? Uh, and if you could do it all over again, what would you do differently? So I look forward to hearing your comments. If anybody comes across this and cares, uh, leave a comment below. Would love to hear from you. Otherwise, thanks for checking in. This is just a post recap. Again, just kind of a journal, ongoing, just thoughts about CrossFit and how to get better, fitness, everything. So, you know, it may be CrossFit today, but just general fitness in the future, who knows? But for now, and at least for the last year and a half or so, uh, it's just been CrossFit and it's been great. So stay tuned, subscribe. And if you found the content helpful or liked any of this, then just hit that like button and I'll see you guys again soon.